Hey, what's going on, nation? I'm Scott from MuscularStrength.com, and today we're going to be talking about a video recently put out on the Men's Health YouTube channel going over the workout plan for Tom Ellis. For those of you who don't know, Tom, well, most people have to know who Tom Ellis is because sure. Lucifer is an amazing show. Tom Ellis plays Lucifer on the show Lucifer, which is now on Netflix. No, this is not an ad. <laughs> I just really like the show. Sponsored, <laughs> Sponsored by Sponsored Lucifer. Sponsor. I was really happy the show came back for season four on Netflix because I was just as pissed as many of you uh, when the show got canceled. Unfortunately, his trainer in Men's Health Magazine forgot how to work out. And we're gonna talk about that when we show his workout plan. But before we get started, this is Ricky. <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up? So Ricky is actually the man behind the camera for those of you who made fun of his um, workout attire in the last video, which I feel like Ricky owes an apology for. <laughs> so if you want to take that time uh, to, um, to address the nation. To, to anybody, first of all, <laughs> hi nation. <laughs> to anybody that I've offended for wearing my socks and sandals, I am deeply sorry. His mic's I, not even on. So. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> this is actually a voiceover I'm doing at home with my socks and my sandals on. Um, listen, Scott and I film for like from pretty much 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. most of the day, so comfort is key. All you video editors out there understand this. If I wore socks and sandals, so what? He wears sparkly shirts, I wear <laughs> socks and sandals. We would feel we'll like I might need to address that as well. <laughs> That was, a, that was a shirt from Jed North, which I actually really like. And I think a lot of you thought that it had diamonds on it. <laughs> it was just like tiny holes. The shine coming through, was that was my white boyness, <laughs> like shining through the holes, okay? Oh. The shirt looks really cool. I think maybe when you're standing up and walking around, but I guess sitting in my room with all that light beaming yeah. on me, not so much. It's all right. But anyways, the reason why Ricky's here, definitely not because of the good looks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm in the mood to just to, to rip something up, to rip something apart. It's the video, so, the video. We're making fun the, of the we're video. We're not talking about the video yet, so it's all going towards you right now. Thanks. But I know Ricky's a personal trainer as well. He has a lot of clients that he works with. He competes on stage. He does very well for himself. And so I thought instead of always having him behind the camera dressing like a goof, we'll get him on here in a little more serious environment. And I mean, I, I value his opinion and I think you guys should as well. So what really pissed me off, so Ricky, Ricky's actually the one who keeps showing me this stuff. I think he just likes it when I get angry because- Savage Scott, the hashtag you guys started. <laughs> that's all him right Boom. here. I've had a long relationship with Men's Health Magazine. That's why I'm very irritated with this video. It all started in 2008. Check this out guys. This is the January slash February 2008 edition Men's Health Magazine when I had my first pullout poster. And I know some of you guys probably even still have this thing kicking around somewhere. Check that out. Ricky's seen it before. He sees it every night before bed on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and check that out. There's a BSN ad right next to it. It was almost like fake, but um, I started out, uh, I got my stat in modeling because I won a best abs on the East Coast contest for Men's Health Magazine which launched me to be the pullout poster. Uh, I was the first person to ever have three pullout posters in one year with Men's Health Magazine. I'm in their big book of exercises, uh, a bunch of other magazines doing random stuff. And then I actually used winning that contest as my launch pad in my video submission to get on the real world. So like, I owe a lot to Men's Health Magazine and it just pains me so much to see. Cause when you're on a Men's Health Magazine shoot guys, you don't just like show up and then they just trust whoever's there to get done what has to get done. Like there is always a qualified personal trainer on deck making sure anything that's being said or done or photographed is done right. And I don't know what's going on with their video team, but it just looks like to me, they're not sending anybody out there to make sure that what they're putting out on their channel is good and up to par. And without any further ado, we're gonna get started. And you're gonna hear some audio clips from Tom talking as well, but we'll also kind of skip through it too. Hello, I'm Tom Ellis. I play Lucifer on the show Lucifer. And I'm yes, gonna show you today we know. my Kicks training ass. I used to get into shape, especially for season four of Lucifer. Mm. Hashtag devil. Trip. Weightlifting gloves. Yeah, and so a lot of people brought that up too. And Ricky asked me, he's like, what do you think about weightlifting gloves? And 99.999% of the time, I say don't use them. I don't like the disconnect from the bar. Um, I feel like it's nice to have rough hands because it's gonna allow you to be a bit stronger, in my opinion. Yeah, it just, I agree. 
the connection you get when you grab a barbell, whether you're deadlifting or squatting or benching, and you feel like that that grit in your mm -hmm. in your in your hand, that it's almost like a it. cue to like get serious. Yep. But in Tom's case, Tom's an actor. He's pressing the detective's face. Just yeah, for caressing <laughs> the, the detective. <laughs> but I mean, he's an actor, so he probably has his reasons for wearing his gloves. True. I'm not gonna hold it against him. So this is how I typically start out my workouts. <laughs> Um, so this is cool, this is okay. I, I slow rise out of my bathtub, I grab a coffee, not a, not a shot of tequila, <laughs> whoever that is. <laughs> um, okay, so things get wonky right from the get-go, so check this out. So right out of the gate, his warm-up is more like what I tell you guys to do for your cardio routine. I mean, that, that's a really, he says he goes up to 12 miles per hour for 45 seconds. Yeah. And then knocks it back down, and then goes back up, mm -hmm. and he does the, the, the you know the hit training yeah. for a full 20 minutes. When you do high intensity cardio like that, guys, you're losing a lot of the elasticity in your muscle, which is going to drastically um, decrease your overall strength mm -hmm. on all of the heavy lifts that you're doing. And you're going to see in here that he's squatting, he's benching, he's shoulder pressing. So you're kind of already setting yourself up for failure in terms of having that reserve energy right. to be able to do these lifts to the best of your ability. Right, if he was jumping into like a circuit training routine, maybe some kettle work, some kettlebells, like mobility stuff. Or even um, like a I body think, weight circuit, like burpees yeah. and jumping and all that stuff. I think it would be great, but the fact that he's going into strength training, imagine running for 20 minutes, going into a bench press with like 205. Imagine how hard it's gonna be for you to contract your core, keep your body tight for the whole movement. Yeah, and it's not, making it harder in a sense more effective. Yes. It's making it harder and less effective because you're not able to maximize, you know, mm -hmm. how much you could normally lift. If you wanted yeah. to warm up on the treadmill, you know, five, 10 minutes of a nice easy pace mm -hmm. and then maybe some, you know, flexibility work on your shoulders and yeah. in your hips. Yeah, the point of a warm up is literally just to get your body primed for moving weight. So I do no more than five minutes sometimes at a higher incline, a little bit of a higher speed, maybe like 2.5 or so, just enough to break a sweat and then do as Scott said, just kind of warm up on mobility stuff. And he's starting with the bench press. You could just do one or two sets of the bench press with lighter weight exactly. and warm up for, for that exercise. Right. All right, so here's his trainer, Paolo. Uh, Paolo. Who nope. doesn't seem too enthused. To yeah, he's there. like, he's like, <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Probably because he's like, shit, now they're gonna really know I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> Exposure, but in a bad way. So right out of the gate, it's like, dude, why are you touching the barbell? Tom can bench 185 pounds. He's mm -hmm. like 6'2", he's in great shape. He doesn't need you there making him think he can't do it. And on, on top of that, his bench setup, his bench position, He's not really arching his back. I don't really see a lot of leg drive. Mm -hmm. His elbows are flared way too much because his trainer is, celebrity trainers, they just, they always want to touch you yep. and be there and make you think you need them. Yep. He should be off to the side, form correcting Tom, making sure he's benching to the best of his ability, mm -hmm. then just trying to stand there and like blow him kisses, <laughs> you know, as he's <laughs> looking down at him. It's like, <laughs> you need me. And also real quick, and I don't know if you'll agree with me on this, I feel like with a lot of these videos that Men's Health and like GQ puts out when it comes to fitness, the little bit of tips that they do give are stuff that like, I feel like it could have been better. Like they could have mentioned maybe tucking down the shoulders. I feel like as far as like squeezing your glutes for the bench. No, yeah. Know. Well, because that's what I'm, that, and that's what I'm saying. Like it doesn't seem like there's anybody on set that yeah. knows what they're talking about. And this was actually something that I was really happy for Tom because he talks about how he was never even able to do one mm -hmm. pull up. And through sheer, you know, work yeah. ethic and pushing himself as hot as he can. And then working with a, a pyramid structure where he'll do like mm -hmm. 10 reps, eight reps, six reps, four reps he's now able to do pull-ups. So exactly. this one, I guess I gotta give the trainer some credit because getting someone to do a pull-up who could never do a pull-up before oh, is yeah. is really yeah. hard to do. All right, already right here. All right. <laughs> Again with the hook. <laughs> Touching the hands. Um, I, you know, spotting by the wrist isn't bad. I actually do that a lot too with clients. Yeah. Um, if, they're, if they're new to training, they have any shoulder stability. Because if you spot them by the elbows, they, they have, easy to cave in. yeah, they'll cave in and hit themselves in the face. So when the weight's light enough, you can spot by the wrist. Um, but the problem here is we got Tom, you, you can tell that he's like 
arched. He's arched back yeah. because his butt has slid forward. His elbows are flared way too much. They should be more like this. So he's actually pressing you know, over his chest and in front of his body. So there's just a lot going on in this one frame mm -hmm. that just goes to show that the, the trainer does not know how to teach proper form on a shoulder press because Tom ne is never really trying to like lift heavier weight than he can handle. Right. And I've noticed that like he's staying, he, he's not trying to ego lift at all. He's lifting to what he's been able to do. Right. It's just that he would be able to get so much stronger if he was just let to do it on its own, on his own right. and given a few form corrections. This is the one that I agree, I disagree with the most, like the way that he gets the dumbbell up. Yeah, he's already, shoulder. he's already where he needs to be. And then calls over Paolo. And calls Paolo over. And that's where that arch comes in. You think about it, you're swinging yourself. You're moving yeah, I didn't off think of, about that. You're moving off of the bench, you're swinging up. Now you put yourself in an arch. Yeah, and you know that probably that swinging motion is what's caught, because you're, you're wearing gym shorts, mm -hmm. causes your butt to slide forward. Yep. What's the traditional way, guys? Put the dumbbell on your knee, kick off your toe, done. I mean, it's just basic stuff that Paolo should know. Yep. Look at his, like he, like what is he looking at? Yeah. I don't even know what he's, Oh, maybe there's a mirror there. Oh, probably. I'm gonna look behind the but it's like, come on. He's like, Paolo's like, hey, bro, <laughs> don't bring the dumbbells together. I need my camera time. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I bring them together at the top. Same. I don't smash them, but I want full range of motion and I want to make sure I'm flexing as high as I can and extending my elbow. I bring the dumbbells together. Um, I, I doubt he wanted FaceTime. I think he probably just taught Tom to do it this way. Yeah. But that can be just a difference of opinion. Yeah, I, I, nine times out of 10, when I see people do shoulder head, overhead pressing, they bring them together. Right. All right, so now we have the wall curl, which first of all, if you're doing a wall curl, you need a full wall. <laughs> um, you can't just put your back against the column because it kind of defeats the purpose of holding, of holding your elbows in place. And so he now he's gonna talk about this exercise. And this is again, this is where I start to get irritated with the trainer because like those are like, maybe 15 pound dumbbells. I don't even think they're 20s. And he's against the wall, which he should be against a flat wall if he's, if he's worried about you know holding his elbows there. Again, I'm not talking about Tom, this is his trainer teaching him this crap. My wife does curls with 15 pound dumbbells. If you're trying to build big biceps, and you're, I mean, not that Tom is trying to get huge, but I'm sure he'd like to see a little bit more mass on his biceps, who wouldn't, right? I mean, this guy can probably handle 35, maybe even 40 pound dumbbells doing curls the traditional way, standing up, focusing on max contraction, slow negative on the way down if he wanted to. But his trainer has him standing against the wall and then have him do this isolation crap because doing something like this, you tend to feel it more. And celebrity trainers are more concerned with job security than teaching proper form and proper, gym, proper workout etiquette. So. He, he just wants to make sure his clients are feeling things yep. versus saying, hey, maybe you didn't feel those bicep curls today because you were cranking so hard, you'll feel them tomorrow. Exactly, I agree. I feel like it's uh, one of those misleading things with certain personal trainers where they like have that mentality that like, unless your client's not crawling out of the gym, then you're not doing your job. And sometimes they put moves like this, like this that don't really teach you much of anything. But you leave the gym feeling like, oh damn, I really, I really worked hard today. I'm like, okay, but what did you learn? Long yeah. Time. As a personal trainer, like, and you can agree, at the end of the day, we want to teach our clients enough where they can go into the world of fitness on their own and be good. And only come back if they want to learn more. Exactly. And that's what I would expect Lucifer, he knows just enough to be good on his own, but then he'll do stuff like this, when at the end of the day, normal good old bicep curls are going to be just as good. Yeah, if not way better. better. And this is where this is where it gets really wonky, guys. So just letting you know. And this is what this is actually the point of the video where I looked at Ricky and I said we're making this video because at first I didn't want to make it because I like Tom. I didn't want to shit on his video, but this is where it's like, hey man, I want Lucifer for season five, <laughs> and it's not gonna happen if you're squatting with this form because Paolo is too much of a friggin' douchebag to teach you proper form or go on YouTube and type how to squat and look at the hundreds of videos that have been put up, several of them my own. <laughs> like, it's so easy to get good information that why aren't you getting good information? And this is why I like um, Every Damn Day Fitness because he does the same thing when he calls people out and he gets pissed because he hates the misinformation and the bad information when there's so much good information out there. I'm the same exact way, man. I agree with you 100%. So this part's funny. Where, 
I really thought he was pushing some heavy yeah. ass weight too. I was like, oh damn, okay, Lucifer, let's do it. <laughs> like, let's see how much. Look, he's got the same neck veins yeah. as me. We're neck vein twins. He needs those for Lucifer. Yeah, right. All right, so first of all, like this pad, this pad is the kind of pad that this does nothing to begin with. Absolutely. So just get rid of it. It's like this thin. 100%. I don't know why it's on the bar. He has on a shirt that's gonna cover his neck. So it's not like the gnarling of the barbell is gonna cut up his neck to begin with. And even if it, even if it did have gnarling on it, it's the chances of it cutting up your neck are still slim to none anyways. So that's out of the equation. This is just the trainer. Oh, let me get the pad for you because mm -hmm. you know, you don't, wanna, you don't wanna hurt yourself. Yeah as opposed to teaching proper form. And we're gonna get a side angle. Guys, look at this side angle. This barbell is on the man's vertebrae in his neck. Mm -hmm. It is pushing so hot into his neck that as his head is up, it's causing the skin in the back to wrinkle yep. because that barbell is resting on the neck itself. Now, he's probably doing this with no weight from the side to get these different angles because if you had weight there, think about it, and I do this sometimes, if you're doing a side angle, the weight's gonna cover basically your face and your shoulders and your hand position, elbow position. So I'm glad they did it with zero weight. Elbows are pushed back, which is pushing the barbell into his neck and the barbell's resting way too high which is a, just a recipe for disaster. Because if he's doing this with a lot of weight, look at his angle of his body. He is leaning mm -hmm. so far forward that if he had actual weight on this barbell, he would fall over and hurt himself. It would be pushing through his nose, which means you're also pushing through your knees. Yep. And then again, 135 pounds on his neck. If Lucifer can't wake up and, and go, <laughs> go shoot, you know, episode one, season five, because it has a stiff neck, I'm gonna be showing up at Paolo's door and be like, well, maybe not that, but I'll be like, what's up, man? You hear that? Paolo? Why are you hurting my boy, Lucifer? <laughs> Overall, it does seem like he has a decent workout, okay? Right. So let's not totally- Good knowledge. Let's not totally uh, make, you know, talk bad about his trainer, Paolo. Overall, it's a decent workout. Is it the best workout? No. Is it gonna maximize his results? No. Could he be get a way better workout from either one of us yes. for much cheaper than what Paolo's probably charging? For sure. Yes, and I will take you up on that offer. <laughs> Tom, if you're, if you're watching. Yeah. As long as I can be on season five, like a quick cameo, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'll train you for like a month straight for free, okay? Awesome. Well, no, not for free. I'm gonna charge you, but I'm not gonna charge you as much as Paolo. Right. The, the main culprit here is men's health. You guys should know better than to put garbage like this on your YouTube channel. You guys have been in this industry for so long. You gave me this, my start in my career and it just disappoints me so much that you would allow something like this to go online very well knowing that form is bad, the workout itself is mediocre, the tips are mediocre, you guys are a huge company of all this time and money. You could have made this video so much better and you did it. And Lucifer should send you to hell for punishment for this video. Just fire everybody. Do you agree or disagree? No, I agree 100%. 100%. A lot of these things, the one thing that I'm not a big fan of when it comes to things like men's health, GQ, if you read through a lot of their articles, some of them, yes, they have some like sense to them because whoever did them researched. But otherwise, a lot of the times I feel like it's just a lot of fluff. You know, it's like to, to, to make it look cool. Like you go home or like you read through the comments, for instance, people are like, oh, I want to try this workout. Not knowing, not realizing that form is bad on a lot of them. You know, so these people aren't gonna take the time to look into form, most of them, boom, you end up getting hurt, you give up on fitness, you get fat. You know, and that's actually something I forgot to say, because if you read the comments, there's not one bad comment there, at least that I saw, because these aren't necessarily fitness people watching this video, these are fans of Tom. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I'm a fan. Actually, the only bad comment there is probably mine. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I left a comment, I was, so, so I was so pissed. <laughs> I gotta check later to see true. how many thumbs down it has. <laughs> but so in, in my comment, I was like, Tom, you're an amazing actor. I love Lucifer, but I'm like, you need a new trainer, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, this is just gonna hurt you over time. Yeah. And like you said, all these people, you know, they're watching this video. Tom's an actor. Tom can afford the best trainer. This video is on Men's Health Magazine's YouTube channel. Everything here must be good to do, must be proper form, must be okay. Like this is Men's Health's opportunity to transition from just being a magazine to being uh, really big on YouTube fitness and putting out good content and they just missed the mark. Yep, and then just to tie it in, because 
you know, Scott and I read the comments that you guys leave. A lot of you guys talked about how hashtag Savage Scott is coming out. We only make these videos to inform you guys. Like something that I admire about Scott from the very beginning is that he teaches fitness on YouTube. There's a very big difference from men's health trying to teach fitness on YouTube versus what we do. So we see videos that these Gymshark guys put out that, you know, Thor puts out like with Center and all that stuff. We don't do these videos to like hate on the actors or anything like that. We do the videos to inform you guys. Do we get a little rowdy? Hell yeah, because it's fun. But I think they, we, we do it with your best intentions. Yeah, and speaking of Center, you know, there were some comments on that video where you guys are like, I, you didn't even download the app, so how do you know what the app is like, whatever. And then there were some other comments where you guys said something like, um, that workout's not even in the app. And so right there is like, those are just two red flags for me. Because if I'm gonna advertise something, I'm gonna pull the best content from that thing and I'm gonna create an ad from it. Why would I advertise an app with a workout that doesn't exist on the app? Right. You know what I mean? And if I'm gonna advertise my app, why would I advertise it with a video that shows a workout with improper form, improper exercise naming, and then just the overall, the overall um, layout of the barbell complex they were doing just didn't make sense, yep. you know? But that's how my brain thinks, so sometimes it's, it's good for you guys to leave your comments like that because I have kind of tunnel vision and I don't see it necessarily from your point of view. Yep. And so those comments kind of help me explain my points better. So thank you for leaving those comments. I don't mind if you guys disagree with me or maybe you kind of agree with me but you have a different angle of looking at it. I, I like those comments because they help me make my videos better. Yep. But oh, on that note, guys, leave some of those down below. <laughs> Can't wait to read them. Hope my, my outfit selection pleased you guys <laughs> for this video. I'll start paying, no socks. I'll start paying Ricky a little more so we yes. can afford proper clothing. So I can buy better socks. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and enjoyed the video. You learned some stuff. And if you want to see more content like this where we're just calling it how it is, tap that like button, subscribe, and as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys. Speaking of the video we did on the Chris Hemsworth App Center, if you guys want to see that video, I'll post a link to it right here. But if you want to download an app that's actually proven to give you results with zero BS, click the link below, download my app, Muscular Strength, and I'll see you there.